We're waiting at the airport, and my dad, he's sitting next to me. He turns and says, Hey kid, first flight. You nervous? You see, dads have a magical way of asking the wrong questions at just the wrong time. Because I'm like, nervous? What do I have to be nervous about? And at just that time, our plane pulls up to our gate. It's huge. No, wait, it's beyond huge. It's ginormous. Ginormous, that's a word, look it up. And I'm looking at the plane and it's looking at me and it's like, hey, I weigh 45 tons. Which is a weird thing for a plane to say. So I ask my dad, dad, how much is 45 tons? And my dad, who has a magical way of giving weird answers, says, about seven elephants playing soccer with a bowling ball. And suddenly I am nervous. Because how does something the size of seven elephants playing soccer with a bowling ball beat gravity to get up into the air and then stay there for... Hey dad, how long is our flight? Five hours. Right! How does something beat gravity get up into the air and stay there for five hours? So I think about other stuff that flies and floats and pretty much doesn't stay on the ground. Balloons float. Whee! Well, helium balloons anyway. Other balloons just fall on the ground all sad-like. Mama! So maybe they fill the plane with helium? No, that would only go up. Plus, if we filled the plane with helium, we'd all be squeaky and... I am not a balloon. <sighs> That's why I've got wings. Ah, right. Wings! Of course! I should have thought about that. What else has wings? Hello? Dragons have wings? A pegasus has wings. Hello? Those strange flying monkeys from... Excuse me! Not only am I real and not mythological, but I also happen to have wings. Birds! Right! And you flap your wings to get lift. I wonder, do planes flap their wings? No, we do not flap our wings. Which was a somewhat helpful thing for a plane to say. Well, then how do you get off the ground? It's the shape. What? It's the shape of the wings that get them off the ground. The balloon's right, you know. Check it. My wing is shaped so that the air takes longer to travel over my wing than under it. That faster air has less pressure, so the higher pressure air on the bottom, poof, lifts me up. Phenomena! Smart bird. Nice plane. Phenomena! So the shape of the wing creates lift. You must need really big wings to lift all that weight. Whoa, hey. Who are you calling big? I, uh... Just kidding. You're right. Huge wings. Bigger wings. Bigger lift. So if the wings give you lift, how do you go forward? It's easy. We just flap our wings and... Sorry, I meant the plane. Oh, right. How do planes go forward? <coughs> Whoa, uh, excuse me. Oh, I get it. Engines! Yeah, smart kid. You suck the air in. Phenomena? Nah! And poop it out. <laughs> Wait, what? Well, uh... Look, the air is sucked in. Phenomena? Nah! The compressors squeeze the air. <laughs> Fuel is mixed with compressed air. <laughs> There's a spark and... Bang! Ah! The turbines spin and blow it out. Mama! And this thrusts you forward? Right. The more drag, the more thrust I need. Drag? But you're flying in the air. What's dragging you backwards? You ever felt the wind blow against you? Not only is the wind pushing you, but all that low pressure behind you is literally pulling you backwards. That's why I have huge engines, to generate more thrust. 
Flight number 44 to New Orleans is now boarding at gate 7. That's us? You're ready to board? Yes! Wait, you're not nervous? What about those 45 tons? Nervous? About what? Those wings are designed to generate so much lift that they can lift way more than 45 tons. Plus, those engines generate so much thrust, we overcome drag. Whoa. Not only will we make it safely, but way faster than driving. Smart kid. Right. I wonder what other questions he has about flying. Ah, no, no, no.